Hi, it's Storm from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this towel topper. This, these are really great scrap busting projects. They're also great if you do craft shows. These are really good to have on your craft table. They also make really great gifts. You can do a towel and a pot holder or a towel and a washcloth and make a set. They work out really great for gift giving. So let's drop the camera down. I'll talk about all the uh, the yarn, the hook, the needle, everything that you need to make one of these towel toppers. The yarn that I used is Red Heart Super Saver. This is just some leftover that I had. I don't have a label on it or anything, but it's a medium for acrylic 100% acrylic yarn. You don't have to use Red Heart Super Saver. You can use any medium for yarn that you wish. You can use cotton, you can use wool, you can use whatever medium for yarn that you choose. You're only going to need about 100 yards or maybe uh, 2 ounces if you go by the uh, ounces instead of the yards. The hook size that I used is an H 5.0 millimeter hook. This I'll be using my uh, Clover Amour hook today. And you will also need a button of some sorts. So I have these two different buttons here to show you what kind of button you could use. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors, some yarn needle, preferably one that can also fit through your button. You're going to need a pen or pencil to mark off your spots where your stitches will be on your towel and some type of a measuring tape or ruler so that you can measure off the marks on the towel and of course a kitchen towel. So once you have all of your items together, let's get started. Before I jump into today's tutorial, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's that little icon down in the corner with my picture on it. That'll automatically subscribe you to my channel. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to ring that bell. That will notify you when I upload videos. And if you like content like this, please give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So first thing we need to do is we need to mark off where we're going to put our stitches. We're going to start with uh, making a blanket stitch across the top of our towel. So we get out our tape measure and we lay it across the top of the towel and this towel is about 15 inches which is perfect because we're going to mark off about every half inch we're going to put a little dot there and we should get 31 little dots which is exactly what we need. So you're going to want 31 little marks across the top of your towel and that will give you the exact number of stitches that you'll need for this pattern. So go ahead and just mark off one little dot every half inch on the top of your towel and I will meet back up with you once we have all our little marks on the top of our towel. Once we've marked off 31 little marks for our stitches on the top of our towel, we need to measure off a length of our yarn so that we can sew our blanket stitch across the top of our towel. Now how I do this is that I lay our yarn, my yarn out across the top of a to the towel and I measure off about 10 times that length. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. I go with 10 because I want to have a maybe a little bit of extra yarn. Some people like to do 8 but I like to go with 10 so I can make sure that I have enough yarn because the last thing you want to do is run out of yarn because then you have to pull all your stitches back out again. So fold it in half so we have double the length and then we're going to hook up our yarn needle or thread up our yarn needle. So we want our yarn needle to be doubled, so we're going to put it on one side here and bring it all the way down to the center. So just 
hook it on and bring it all the way down to the center. And this might take you a little bit of time to get it down there depending on the yarn and how big the hole is on your yarn needle. So once you think you got it down there, just make sure you have it evenly, your yarn out even. Like that. And then we're going to put a knot on the end here. And then we can get started working on the blanket stitch. Just like that. And let's bring the camera down so we can get a little bit closer look so you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, to start our first stitch, we're going to go from the inside because we want to hide that beginning tail. So bring your needle from the inside of your towel so it's the knot will be trapped between the two the two sides so it'll be on the inside. So our tail so we're going to hide that tail on the inside. Next, take your yarn, wrap it around the back, just like this. So you're taking the yarn and wrap it around the back, and then you're going to take your needle and come in from the back of the towel to the front through the same stitch hole and pull through. Just like that. Next, take your needle, go under that stitch from right to left and pull through. Now your yarn should be towards the back of your project. We're going to bring our yarn around with our right into our right and have our needle in our right hand. And we're going to go to the next marked stitch, insert our hook, our needle, and having our yarn to the back, we're going to pull through. And it's going to form a little horizontal bar on the top. Again, bring your yarn around to the right, to the left, and bring your needle in your right hand to the next mark spot. Push it through. Yarn is on the back side of the needle, behind the needle, and pull up. And you're going to form the next stitch, which is another horizontal bar. And you're going to bring the yarn back around, needle in the right hand, go to the next mark stitch, mark spot, and repeat that. And you're going to continue repeating that for each mark stitch or marked little dot that you made. Making sure that you're forming that horizontal bar on the top of the towel. So continue working the blanket stitch all the way to the end, or the end of the towel, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of this row. Now once you've made your last stitch, we got to hide our tail. So we're going to go into the back side and we're going to go in so that we're going inside the towel. Just like that. 
open up the towels so you're on your inside of the towel and you want to go under that first stitch there so you can go ahead and tie it off so go ahead and make a little knot there just like that then weave under your tail under the few stitches there to, just to tuck it under so it doesn't pop out so go under a few of the stitches just like that just weave it under and then you can go ahead and clip that right off and we're going to go to our beginning tail and we're going to weave that under as well. So we're going to go right back to that beginning tail and we're going to weave that under a few of those stitches too to hide that tail. So we just got to get it into the yarn needle which is a little easier said than done because this yarn is a little thick. But there we go. and just weave it under a few of those stitches just like that and then you can take your yarn needle out and snip off those tails and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step which would be crocheting our topper so we're gonna start crocheting across the top here I'm gonna start with a slip knot on our hook and we're gonna take our towel and we're going to take that first bar stitch the horizontal bar and we're gonna slip stitch into it chain one and we're gonna half double crochet right back into that same space. Then half double crochet into each one of those bars, those horizontal bars around each one of those horizontal bars all the way across the top of the towel. You should have 30 half double crochet at the end of the row. I will meet back up with you at the end of the row. We're at the end of row one we have 30 half double crochet to start row two. We're going to chain one, turn the work, and we're going to repeat that row. So we're going to half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in each stitch across. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. We're at the end of row two, we still have 30 half double crochet. To start row three, we're going to chain one and turn the work. And a half double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, and three. Then we're going to half double crochet two together. So yarn over the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through all the loops on the hook. We're going to repeat that, so half double crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, and three, then half double crochet th two together, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through all the loops on the hook. We're going to repeat that pattern all the way across until you get to the end and I'll meet back up with you at the end. So it's half double, half double, half double, half double, two together. We're at the end of row three. We now have 24 stitches. To start row four, we're going to chain one, turn the work, 
and half double crochet in each stitch across. So continue half double crocheting in each stitch across and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. We're at the end of row 4, we still have 24 stitches. To start row 5, chain 1, turn the work. And we're going to half double crochet in the first two stitches. One, two, then half double crochet two together. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, then half double crochet two together. I'm going to repeat that all the way across and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. We're at the end of row 5. We now have 18 stitches. To start row 6 we're going to chain 1 turn the work and half double crochet in each stitch across. I will meet back up with you at the end of this row. And at the end of row Six. We still have 18 stitches. To start row 7, we're going to chain 1, turn the work, and for this row we're going to half double crochet two together all the way across. So that's one, So we're just going to keep doing half double crochet two together all the way across the row. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. We're at the end of row seven. We now have nine half double crochets. Now for rows eight to rows nineteen it's just going to be one half double crochet in each stitch. You should have 12 rows. So this is going to be our handle row that goes around whatever um, that you're going to be putting your towel on, either the stove handle, the handle for the drawer, the refrigerator handle, whatever you're going to be buttoning your towel around. So it's going to be chain one, turn the work, and then one half double crochet in each stitch for the next 12 rows, or rows 8 through rows 19. So we're just doing one half double crochet in each stitch, and it's nine stitches. So back and forth for the next 12 rows. Don't forget that last stitch there. It could be a little difficult to see since we're only doing a chain one. So back and forth. This is row 8, so you're going to go continue row 9 through row 19, so you'll have 12 of these rows and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 19. We're at the end of row 19, we still have 9 stitches. To start row 20, we're going to chain 1, turn the work, uh, unstick our yarn. 
For this row we're going to do a buttonhole. So we're going to half double crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and one in the last stitch makes four. And that's row 20. We're leaving that little hole for a buttonhole. And in our last row, we're going to chain one, turn the work, half double crochet in the first four stitches, one, two, three, and four. Now you can half double crochet in that chain stitch if you like, but it's just as easy just to go right into the chain space and half double crochet, then half double crochet in the last four stitches. One, two, three, and the last one is four. And then we can go ahead and fasten off. Now we just need to weave in our ends, the one up here and the one down here, and then we're ready to sew on our button. I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends off camera and then I'll show you where to sew your button on. Now where I like to sew my button on is right here in row 7 where we did the full row of half double crochet two together. I just pick the about where the center is, so about right here, and just bring the needle up from the back side. and make sure I leave a tail back there. Go through my button. I'm going to use this cute little dog button just because it's cute. And I'm going to have my little button sewn on right there. Now you can go through your button a couple of times if you want, but with this little button I think it'll one time is sufficient. And I'm just going to tie it off. Just like that. And gotta watch out for the tail. Get the little tail through there. And there we go. So now it's all finished. There we go. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.